Hello, this is Babs again, and what I'm going to do today is I am going to um, cover some book pages with napkins, 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 and um, all I have is some um, regular school glue, and I added some water to it, but before I start that, I am going to show you one of my cute little gel journals I made. Music down. When I make junk journals, I usually make them so huge. Everything I make, you'll think I'm from Texas because everything is so huge. But this is um the smallest journal I believe I ever made, and I think it is so cute. Um, I think I used uh um I think a hair color. This was a hair color. Where I dyed my hair, I think it was um, one of those Clairol boxes that I used. And remember I was talking about the gift bag that my friend gave me. This is part of it. I cut it up. It was a small gift bag. I cut it up and I used it for a lot of different little things. Remember the bookmark I showed you um, that I used the same um, gift bag and I made different little things with it. So this is my cute little journal and I'm so proud of it because I never made one this small and it says I rather fall into chocolate especially dark chocolate so I made this little um flower out of the same this is the handle this was the handle of the gift bag so I made it into the shape of a flower and I made this little flower put little leaves and everything so this is it. This is the back. I just um, added some little dollies and I made, um, use my my old faithful credit card and I made this nice little light design. So I put across a heart charm and some of the little cute charms. That's a little owl and I really think it came out so cute and it's so tiny inside I just used how many signatures I have two signatures and um this is the um, little twine that you get from Michaels in the in the dollar and fifty it used to be the dollar bin but it's a dollar fifty now um bin I used the twine and just attach the signatures here inside all of these are coffee stain papers coffee stain papers so I just wanted to share my little cute little little tiny little art journal because all the other ones are gigantic okay so we're gonna start and um, I'm just gonna add the um almost like Mod Podge I guess and um, got my sponge brush and um, different size um different size pages different size book pages I think I'm gonna start with this the medium size and um oh my goodness I don't think I have my scissors oh yes I have some scissors in here so you know um these are all of the um different napkins that I have I already pulled most of them apart but you know it, it comes in like two or three liners and all you have to do is just find the line liner and just separate them carefully because you don't want to tear it and um, don't throw this piece away you can use that for something else also so here it is how beautiful is that napkin and um, I will be receiving more napkins because I um it was a giveaway on Instagram and I was chosen and my friend from New Zealand and um, she is going to send me some beautiful napkins I was so excited when I won because I never get a um, giveaway on Instagram but I was so excited that I was chosen as the winner and I know she's gonna send me some beautiful beautiful napkin so what I do I am not going to cut the napkin first I'm just going to apply the um, just going to apply the glue to the um, book page I'm going to apply the glue nice coats 
over my book page and then I am going to lay the napkin make sure you get the edges good because you want the edges to stick good I know this might make a mess on this plexi but so just lay the napkin on top I should have a um a brayer I don't have a brayer so I'm just going to tap it I don't know I don't want it to stick so this is how I could do this and you see how once it dry, I could cut it, but I could lay another book page on that one. I think I can. I'm gonna put some small ones. Let me put another. Let me put another um media a media medium size one. Same thing. Apply the glue. I, I really should have like a, a layer of wax paper on this surface so it won't stick because I'm going to have to clean the surface after I apply each one. So we want to layer it again right on top of it. Smash it down real carefully. And um, what I uh, saw one of the girls do she would get the glue make sure the, um, the ends are good. She would just carefully go over it like this because you see once you go over it like that you make it a little transparent you make it a little translucent if you apply the glue on top so go over the top like this maybe with a little pouncing motion because you do not want to tear it you have to be very gentle with it and I hope you could see I'm gonna make it come closer. I'm gonna make it um make it. I'll show you closer where you can see right through the words. You can see the words now. And you can see if I hold it up closer, you can see the words start to come through. And you can see the words coming through. Okay. And I also love could use the rest I could use this part here with probably the smaller ones so I'm gonna um, I might be out of frame let me see pull this up a little and I'm gonna add this is a smaller one so just do the same thing you're adding the glue to the pages make sure you get your edges good and I think this side is I think it's best to do it like this so it won't you won't hurt the napkin right that looks like a great way to do it oh let me try that again I stumble upon something with very good very effective you apply it that way I hope I'm gonna come in frame you see what I just did if you apply it this way then you don't have to worry about the napkin tearing. You can rub this pages. You don't have to be as as um, delicate when you do the papers this way. Oh, that is something good that I still. Oh, I made this almost too close. Ooh. Okay, so we do the same thing. Just pouncing it on there so it can get a little. See, see right through it now. I'm gonna cut this part off later. So there it is. And I almost can tie. Let me cut this part off right now. And I could add that right on the side and use it for a little word book. A little. Yeah, I could use this little part right here you want to use everything so you set this aside to dry I'm going to set that aside to dry and I'm going to use the music sheet love 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 music sheet and I got this one from a 
I got this from a thrift store and you can see some of them have the dates on it because you can see where the person that had it scribbled a lot of them little notes or whatever counts or whatever that is they scribble and um, some of them I saw where the date was on it and the date actually dated back to 1957 I'm like oh my goodness 1957 that's like 57 years ago 57 58 years ago I'm like wow this is like an antique so we're gonna do this one the same thing with the music sheets act your glue real nice and And choose your napkin, just put it right here on top, do the same thing, really delicately, pouncing motions. You're going to go over it really lightly with, uh, with the glue. I love this napkin, it's beautiful. You see how the, the music is, the music bars and the notes are starting to show through. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Squeeze the glue out. And you know, if I had uh oh, starting to tear a little bit, but that'll be okay. Um, if I had my um look how beautiful that is so beautiful. If I had my um glitter in here, I would just add glitter to it, but I could go back and I could add some um glitter paint to it. Go back later and add some glitter paint. So let's do this last one. So you get the gist of how it's done. Just add your glue to your whatever page and just add your put your napkin. Add your napkin. I'm gonna go this way. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gently, gently, Barbara, gently. Uh oh, oh, I think the wrinkle effect looks really nice. I thought it was like I took up something, but I love it when it, it wrinkles like that and leaves a nice texture on it. Look how beautiful that is. And look at that little wrinkle effect right there. I love that. Love that. Beautiful, gorgeous. Okay, so, you know what, I have some blondies here that I can add to some of them. Let me find another one. I'm going to keep going. And each time I pick out a different napkin. Each time I pick out a different napkin. Look how pretty this one is. It's summertime is coming up. This one is uh, flip flops. How cute is that? Get some blue. This is a lot of fun, and you know what? With these, you can do a lot of things. I could put them in my um, my junk journal. I can um, I can make tags out of them. You can do so many different things with them. Make journaling cards with them. I think really, um, maybe I don't know whether the um, if I had my um. Brea, whether the Brea will work, maybe the Brea will tear it up, but I'm thinking this is working better than the Brea will be working. So maybe it's a good thing I don't have my Brea. This seems to be working quite nice. You can make book markers with this. Yeah, yes. Nice, 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 nice. Gotta be careful with pulling it up now because my surface is getting so sticky and gummy. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful and the words are there. Very nice. This other side I am going to add my, my music notes. Let's see. I like to trim it off a little. So I won't get so much white. I like to trim trim it down. You see how I'm trimming off some of the white? See here. Oh my God. This is the date right here. And it's not 57. It's actually like 52. Right? July 16, 52. My goodness. 
This is an antique. I thought it was 57, but it's 52. So let's add the, the, a little bit to that side here. Mm-hmm. 1952. And you know what? I think this was a... um accordion music book. I think it was an accordion. I think when I looked at it, it wasn't piano, it was accordion. I'm like, oh, this person played the accordion. How cool is that? So, beautiful on the music sheet. Okay, so I'm going to come back later. Of course, you know I am, girls, and I'm going to show you what I made with my, with, um, with these. Okay. So, we add a little bit more glue. Oh, they are drying up so beautifully. Add some more glue. And let's work with some more. Um, let's go with these pages. Some white pages. Let's go with some white pages. Remember, each time use a different napkin. on my video okay so oh this is a nice one let's see this one says shake shaken and it says shaken not stirred shaken not stirred cool that's cool that's cool that's cool okay Shaken, not stirred. Oh, I like this color. This is a beautiful color. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, this is going to be beautiful. These are going to be gorgeous. Keep going, keep going, Barbara. Keep going. on a roll. Ah, look how cute this is. Oh, I love that. And this is going to be like little pieces. How cute is that? Oh, I love that. Beautiful. Hey, let's see. I don't have any more of that. So let's do this. Let's mix you up a little bit. I guess I can mix you up a little bit. I sure can. Don't have to be the same thing, right? No. Look how gorgeous that is. Don't have to use the same napkin. You switch it up. That's why I say it's, it's no mistakes in art. No mistakes at all. No mistakes at all, ladies. No mistakes at all. Let's put a little piece over here. Okay, so we're going to see what we come up with with this. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I think my favorite is this flower here on this music sheet. Let me show you that again. I think that is beautiful. I think this one is my favorite one. Isn't that beautiful? So I think that's all of the different papers that, oh, no, I, oh, the butterfly. I gotta do the butterfly. Oh, how gorgeous is the butterfly. I think I'm going to do the butterfly on a music sheet. Butterfly on a music sheet. I'm getting so excited. Okay. Let me cut it. No, I'm not going to cut it. I'm not going to cut it down. I'm not going to cut it. I'm not going to cut it down. So, let's do the butterfly. And then that's going to be it. Move it up a little bit so I can make sure I'm in frame. Oh, 
Ooh, I think this butterfly is gorgeous. Beautiful. And then I think I could add this up to the top and then make that even more beautiful. Right? The butterfly is flying around the flowers. Yeah, yes. Of course, butterflies love flowers. So we're going to put that together. We're going to incorporate that. I love it. I love it. I just love it. I love it. I love it. How many times are you going to say it? Because I love it. Oh, my scissors are so dull. These are not my good scissors. I have my good scissors.